This is gonna be nuts. What is going on guys? I am back with another video and today is going to be literally insane because today is the Pokemon Go Kanto Tour event. Now I live in Australia so I get it a day earlier I'm pretty sure and yes I am recording on an older iPhone because my actual one needs to play Pokemon Go and then I have clips on that phone so you're gonna be stuck with this with a little bit of washed out colors but you know what? It's quality content not quantity here. But yes, I am super excited for this because this is literally every Pokemon Go player's dream to have these type of events. I mean, I've done Go Fests, I haven't done any Safari Zones because I mainly started playing Pokemon Go pretty much daily last year. I mean, I played it on and off, but the game was pretty old, it had some weird mechanics, and now Pokemon Go has been better than ever. It has some great content on that game. And it's amazing and I kind of want to start doing Pokemon content on this channel. I will still stick to like gaming videos and that but Pokemon I feel like I want to be that big one because I am back in a Pokemon mood and because of the Kanto Tour event it's going to be great. Now if you guys don't know what the Kanto Tour event is, have you been living under a rock this entire time? Because you really should know. It is an event in Pokemon Go that actually brings the Kanto region to us. We get to encounter Kanto Pokemon all 151 Kanto Pokemon are shiny eligible, which means all Pokemon you'll be able to get a shiny of. Now, I'm not saying you'll be able to get every single shiny in this because this is a really long event. This is from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. This is a 12 hour long event. And I am super excited for this. I'm going to be playing for literally the entire day. I will do nothing else. I won't eat. I won't sleep. I won't drink. I will be playing the Kanto Tour event. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll eat. Just I, I might need someone to actually bring the food up for me. <laughs> the Kanto Tour begins in only six minutes and I'm super excited. Now, if you guys are asking which version did I pick, ultimately I picked the green version. In the Kanto Tour event ticket, when you purchase the ticket, you get to choose red or green. These are based on the games, of course, like red and green from the originals, like 1996, I believe. And you have the red version exclusives and the green version exclusives and every other Pokemon is also available. So Pokemon like Aerodactyl, the starters, Pikachu, they're all available in this event. But green and red exclusives are of course exclusive to the ticket that you take and ultimately I chose green because green has by far the roster of Pokemon I love the most. I mean, it has shiny Sandshrew, which I need, shiny Nidoran male because I have a female. Uh, it has, oh, what else? Like shiny Omanyte. I have a shadow shiny Omanyte, and there's a lot of stuff you guys actually don't know I have. But the main goals I really want are shiny Sandshrew, shiny Eevee would be really cool, shiny Aerodactyl would be lit, and just a bunch of shinies. Like, I don't really have too much high expectations, I just want a bunch of shiny Pokemon. And with this event, there will also be a special research that you will get shiny Mew at the end of it, which is fantastic. And I'll also be keeping tabs on how much shinies I catch using OBS. I'll be putting all my shinies in like a little box and see how much I really get. So with that said, let's move on to the Kanto Tour event in Pokemon Go. Alright guys, the Kanto Tour event celebration has begun and already we have some spawns. I'm just actually going to check these spawns because, I mean, hey, why wouldn't I? Oh, it has like the confetti from GoFest. That's actually really cool. And Pikachu. Oh, I love my I love my Pikachu. So if you guys know me, I love my Pikachu's. I also have my Go Plus for this stuff. I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. Professor Willow. Uh, check it out. You've been practicing. Uh, you know. You know. I I don't even care about talking to you, mate. Let's see what we need. To... Huh. Okay. I guess we'll take all these rewards. <laughs> and we also have today tab. Pallet Town Hour, post photos of Pokemon Tour and Wishara Fables. Oh, defeat all challenges, catch 20 Pokemon, power up Pokemon three times, battle two Go Tour challenges. I don't know what that means, but oh, we got Pidgey and stuff, you know. Why aren't I actually putting my incense on? Why aren't I doing that? How long does the incense go for? Really, just an hour? I would have expected longer. Let's put a star piece on. Uh, I've already checked these Pokemon, so I'll actually put the Go Plus on. Sentry. No. Alright, so the Go Plus is gonna do its thing. Uh, let's collect this, I guess. So we get three incense, a uh, small amount of XP, but what do we actually get? Bulbasaur! I mean, to be fair, that's actually what I was thinking. We're gonna use some pineapple berries for this stuff because I think that's gonna be really useful for this event. Um, two berries in that, yeah. Catch 20 Pokemon, yeah, shut up. Alright, what else do we need to do? Use an incense, catch those Pokemon, take a snapshot of Bulbasaur. Alright, the Pokemon Go Plus is gonna go off right now. Vulpix. 
Did we catch it? We didn't catch it. But while the Go Plus does that, I'm actually going to take a snapshot of a Bulbasaur, but it's not any Bulbasaur, because it's my shiny Bulbasaur. Let's um, take a snapshot of this. This is actually going to get annoying. Uh, okay. So we took a snapshot of my shiny Bulbasaur, and uh, we got Snorlax. Is it shiny? That's not shiny. I can tell what's a shiny Snorlax. Really? That's a... It's, it's a green circle. Okay. Excellent. We caught that, right? We didn't catch that. Are you kidding me? We didn't catch that. We didn't catch that? Oh, I hate Snorlax so much. Alright. Ooh, you're gonna use a Great Ball. That was not an excellent, but... We can't even catch this. Sandshrew, go look out for Sandshrew. That's gonna be a really... Good shiny, if I can get that. And also, why aren't we actually catching the Snorlax? What's going on? Now I can't actually encounter the Snorlax. W what is this? <laughs> we still can't catch the Snorlax. You know what? I don't even care about you. Claim reward. We get a Puffin. We need to catch those Pokemon. So, let's catch some Pokemon. And I've, ca I've caught Pokemon for about six minutes. Still no shiny. It doesn't matter. But we do, in the shop, we actually do get some stuff. We get three remote raid passes. I'm guessing for the new raids coming out, like Mewtwo, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. And then the event box, which... Huh, that's really good. Who's spawning? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Hey, Pinsir. Not shiny. Shiny Pinsir. Not a shiny that I really want. Another thing that I've noticed for this event is that if you go to the, the Today tab and you go all down here, you actually have a bunch of stuff to accomplish. So, of course, green version, you get some good stuff, you know. You have to, like, catch these Pokemon, um, red version, Palatine. But then you have Pewter City, Cerulean City, Fuchsia City, and you have all this stuff which is kind of insane. Oh my goodness. What do you want? Who is it? I... Oh... Ah, uh, never mind. Alright, so we have just completed the Pokemon Go Tour second part of the research because the first part was... Rewards. So, what does it leave us with? A Tangler. I don't know if these are actually shiny eligible. I actually... I have no idea. But... That's pretty cool. We have a Meowth here. Can we catch this? Yes, we can. So I'm just going to quickly catch this Meowth and talk over it to build up time so I can actually get back to here, which I luckily did. So I'm, I'm assuming that's Bulbasaur candy. Yep. Pokeballs. That's good. You need a lot of Pokeballs for this. And Chansey. All right. That's a... Uh, I mean, it's a Chansey. I mean... All right. Professor Willis is going to keep on talking like an idiot. What do we have? So, earn three hearts with your body, catch three Pokemon, evolve or both, Bulbasaur. That's easy. So, I just completed the green version task because I just caught my Magma. So, if we can just complete this, we get Stardust, Ultra Balls, and Incense. And we have a Rattata here, do we? No. So, we just completed the Pallet Town event. I can't remember what this medal was for, but honestly, like, if you asked me what that was for, I would have no idea because I can't remember. I, this is the third Squirtle I have gotten. Go away, you stupid thing. You know what? One Pokeball. Boom. Oh, we got invited to a raid, but unfortunately, I don't have raid passes right now. I need to save up storage in order to get that. So, let's just get this, and let's see what we get. So, Stardust, Pokeballs, and who do we actually get? Really? We also completed something else. Weird, what did we actually complete? I actually have no idea. There's so much stuff going on that I don't know. So, I'm going to do a thing, because I can't take my camera out because of reasons i don't want to record around my area because i'm afraid people are going to be all snappy in that i'm going to go outside catch some pokemon and i'll come back and i'll see what i find i'm going to be out there for like 10 to 20 minutes let's see what i get so i just spent i don't know maybe like 10 minutes outside and i still haven't found anything and it's 9 41. i haven't got a shiny in 40 minutes so i don't know how great the shiny rates are they they built it up to say that they were amazing but I have no idea, but I did find a go to a challenger. But I don't know what they thought. Just catching Pokemon right now. I'm actually not going to screen record this because it's not important at all. But I'll put a picture of what they look like on screen. And I literally just have random teams of Kanto Pokemon. It's it's actually pretty cool. It's like playing Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but on a phone. It, it just brings a refreshing feeling that I really like. And it adds a little bit of difficulty to this. But you know how you noticed that I did have a task need to complete to go what do you call them like battlers challenges i have no idea yes i do have that it is right about here and what do i actually get i get an eevee that's actually really cool 
I love Eevees, one of my favorite normal types. So cute. We have a Weedle here. Do we catch the Weedle? We also have this to complete, so let's just get that. And that's about it for now. Okay, so the Kanto Tour, I mean, not the Kanto Tour, the Pallet Town event for the Kanto Tour is almost done. I'm 58 minutes in and no shiny still. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to leave all like the important stuff. I'm going to go out and take a walk, a really long walk. Let's see if I can get a bunch of shinies then because... I'm disappointed right now, I haven't found any shinies, not too much good stuff has gone on. But I will come back and I'll show you what I have found. So I went on a walk, and I still have no shinies, and it's been an hour and 30 minutes, and now I'm getting a little bit impatient. I really hope I get a shiny soon, because this is actually getting ridiculous, and I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. Alright, so I'm currently in the middle of the Fuchsia City Hour event thing in the Kanto Tour event. I've done quite a bit. It is... 12 14 so i've been playing for about uh three four hours uh 10 11 12 about three hours and the first two hours i didn't really get any shinies i got no shinies but in the last hour i actually got four shinies if we look here we got two shiny magic card but because of that magic card community day being my best one i got like over 34 shinies now i have like 36 shiny magic card that's pretty cool um we got chalk commit my shiny century i finally got a shiny century on pokemon go Super happy about that. I got it shortly after the Magic Cup. I was so happy. And then I got um, Shiny Meowth. Now, if you don't know, I have a cat. His name is Billy. And we wanted a girl cat. Well, I want a girl cat because it's really cool. And so I called it Lily. Shiny Meowth, not that much different, but I actually like the Shiny. It's really cool. And so we've done quite a bit. Here is an Execute. Golden Eggs would be great, but honestly, I'm not too concerned about them. They're not something I'm totally going after. Shiny Meowth, that would be great, but I have lunch here right now because I haven't anything. So I'm in a bit of a rush. You can see here that I have completed quite a few stuff. Next up, we have the Pokemon League, which Shiny Doduo. I want that Shiny. Dratini also. Dratini and Eevee. I really want those. So I'm going to be going hard for those ones. The Fuchsia City event has Ghastly. I have Ghastly. I mean, Coughing. Uh, Kabuto would be really cool. But, like, it doesn't have much Shinies that I'm anticipating that I really want. Other than, like, Kabuto and... Um, Mainly just Kabuto, I thought Kabuto and then I execute, so I'm just gonna sit here and see what I can find. After like four hours, I finally got the shiny that I wanted. Well, one of the shinies. Shiny Vulpix, look at that, it's so beautiful. It's a girl, which is really cool. Oh yes, finally. Let's appraise it, let's see how good it is. It's not good, but this is one of the shinies I really wanted. Oh, finally. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of Pokemon. Shiny Vulpix, that's that's fantastic. That's one of the shinies I really wanted for today. And I now have seven shinies. Um, To be honest, I, I'm not mad at the number of shinies. I'm mad at the shinies I'm getting. Like, I've gotten four repeats. So if I get another shiny Vulpix, that's really good because shiny Ninetales looks amazing. So I'm just going to continue this. Let's hope we get something really good. All right, we basically just hit two o'clock on the dot and we got a shiny magma. Now, I don't know how happy I am with this because we already did magma community day, but I only got four shiny magma that day because I was doing other stuff. So I guess this can also work as a pretty cool shiny. I mean, I like my fire types and magma and Vulpix are fire types. And so we caught shiny magma. Pretty much that's the first live catch you saw me do. Uh, IVs are trash. But now we have the... Oh, what? It was a bit laggy there. Um, what's going on? Uh, uh, there's a rainbow in the background. That's actually really cool. Uh, is this... Did it just repeat on its... Did it just repeat on itself? Wait. Palette... Wait. Yeah, I'm so good. So it loops, basically. So that's actually really cool. So the shinies that you couldn't get originally, you can get again. Now, wait. How much... How much were there? there was there was one two three four five six complete Kanto special research does that mean Aerodactyl is just spawning like randomly we did it the Meowth shiny family is complete because if I go here we have Lily Jr you oh god that was actually you can't actually see that at all Lily Jr yes we got two girl shiny Meowth which means we can complete it involving a Persian I'll do a little bit later though, I was just going out there catching some stuff, battling one of the Go Tour challenges, 
And we got this, so I can't complain, it's a shiny, I like shiny. So I just took down a Taurus raid because I needed to win a raid. And you see a Taurus here is $14.97 and you're wondering why did I favorite it? Well, a great thing happened because if I appraise this, this Taurus is a 100% yes! Now, that is so cool, my, my Go Plus is catching some Pokemon while I was doing that raid. That is so cool, that is amazing, I am so happy with that. That is incredible. A 100% Taurus. Taurus is one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. And I will want to hunt for its shiny. Um, I'll use all my raid passes, the free ones that I got, to hunt for Taurus. That's amazing. I'm so happy about that. But that's not all I got. Because I also did some uh, shiny hunting when I went on a walk. We got a shiny Pikachu, which is really cool. Shiny Vulpix, the second one, which was also really cool. That can be evolved into a Ninetales. Shiny Weedle, so like all the gold shinies. But then we got... A shiny Hitmonchan. Now, all of these don't have really good IVs, but this is so cool. We got a Hundo Taurus. We got these shinies. This is so incredible. This event is turning around for me, so let's keep it up. Everyone, I finally got the shiny. Shiny Pinsir. Oh, that looks incredible. Oh, screw it. No, no, I'm going to Rising Ultra Bowling this. I don't even care what I do. I need... I need this. Oh, I need this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes! Yes! Shiny pincer! Oh, yes! Oh, that's one of the shinies that I most wanted. Which means my only needed shiny for now, or the one that I want most, is Aerodactyl. Let's check the IVs. They're trash, but who cares? Shiny pincer, thank you so much. This event is awesome. I started pretty skeptical about this event because I wasn't having the best luck. But after trying and trying and trying again, my collection is now getting much better for this event. I still want more shinies, of course. I really want Aerodactyl, so I'm always checking a nearby in case I can find an Aerodactyl. I'm going on Discord to see, like, what raids there are because I want to get a shiny Tauros. I have 100% already, so... I really want a shiny, so I feel like that'd be really cool. Meowth shiny? No. But man, I mean, I did start pretty, like, like I, like I said, I, I was pretty negative about the event. I recorded a little bit of me, like, ranting about this, but I honestly am having a really good time. Uh, it's just, it's been a bunch of fun. It's been a bunch of fun with Kanto. Kanto is so special to me. Gen 1 is special to me. Pokemon's been my life, and... To play this event has just been a dream come true, so I'm happy with whatever happens. But Shiny Aerodactyl, I still need you. Oh, Shiny Nidoran Female, wouldn't be that bad. Well, considering I already have one. So after doing another walk and I'm literally dying, I am so hot, I, I like my everything is sweating, I am so tired, and I still have five hours to go. We haven't got the Aerodactyl, but we do have something pretty cool, really cool actually. So of course it's just a random Aerodactyl that I'm going to do for trading. We got a shiny onyx um, around the park, which was really cool. I already have a shiny onyx, so I can complete the family to make a steelix. Uh, another Aerodactyl. We got a shiny Lapras. Four checks, pretty much. I've checked this four times. And I walked past it, and I walked back to it, and then boom, it was shiny, and I'm ecstatic about it. This is one of the rarest shinies in the game, I'm pretty sure. I absolutely love this thing. You know, you can see it right there. Like, it is so amazing. I absolutely love it. Definitely the best catch of the adventure so far. And then we got another shiny Meowth, which I named Billy because my cat is a boy and his name is Billy. So this event's going pretty great. Ooh, we got some more checks. We can check here. Shiny Goldeen. Oh no. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to basically... Uh, okay, that photo is really funny. Uh, just do some Go Tour challenges, which shouldn't be that hard because they're, they're really not that hard. They're actually pretty creative and I kind of dig them. I still need to get my shiny Aerodactyl though, so I'm looking out for that. But this event is gone insane i'm loving the spawns it's just it i've been walking so much i'm so tired kind of dehydrated i've been drinking so much this has been insane if you can't tell i'm pretty tired i mean i'm almost out of it but i still have about like three and a half hours left and i have gotten some pretty cool stuff because if we look at my recents we first have a shiny omanite that i found around a uh, place where I was going, so that's really cool. I already have a Shadow Shiny Omanite, so I don't know if I'm going to evolve this to an Omastar, just keep this as a regular one, and then get another Shiny Omanite and evolve into an Omastar. That'd be pretty cool. We got Shiny Coughing almost back to back, like two checks later, we got Shiny Coughing. Fantastic, I like Shiny Coughing a lot. And then we finally got Golden Execute, my Golden Eggs! 
Oh, I've always wanted this shiny. It's so great to have it. And the IVs are actually pretty good for a shiny. 91%. That's actually really cool. And do we have another check? No, we don't. Oh, Vulpix! Nope. But if you guys realize something, it's golden here, which means I've completed tasks. But these are actually some guaranteed stuff going on. You'll see what I mean later. I'm going to do, that the, do this at the end of the event because it just makes more sense too. So if you can't tell, it is literally the next day. Yep, it's the next morning after the Pokemon Go Kanto Tour event. And the reason why I'm recording this the next day is first, there are a couple more things I want to go through because I had the last rewards that are guaranteed Pokemon, like like Ditto on that. I'm pretty sure I'm you. There are some guaranteed Pokemon, so I wanted to show them off. I have some rewards to complete. I'm busy raiding Tauros right now, so I might as well talk about the event as a whole. I'll, t I'll talk about what shinies I did get because after that last clip, my mother and I went for a drive for like two hours, shiny hunting for my main goal, Aerodactyl, which you'll see if I go shiny Aerodactyl or not. But we got a bunch of shiny Pokemon. We ended the day with a, my most amount of shiny Pokemon because with these rewards, these guaranteed rewards, I will get a total of over 30 shinies, which my previous shiny peak was Magikarp Community Day, which I got, um, I think 34, or like, I think it was 34. That was my most shinies I got. So we're going in this Taurus raid right now. And if you're wondering, why, Lucas, why aren't you raiding Mewtwo on that? The reason why I'm raiding Taurus is because I, I love Taurus, and it's an easier Pokemon to raid Mewtwo, just I'm sick of being knocked out all the time by Legendaries. I'm a bit salty by Latios because I did get 100% Latios, but it ran. I did not have a good day that day. So I'm a little bit salty toward Legendary, so that Taurus was a little bit redemption for the 100%. Um, so did I enjoy the Pokemon Go Tour event? And yes, I did. I thought it was great. I thought it was on par with GoFest 2020. I haven't played the like other events beforehand. Like the only events I've played is like GoFest 2020 and up. And I really did enjoy this event. Now it was a little bit frustrating for the first two hours because you know I didn't get anything. But in the end, we made it had an absolute blast. We got a bunch of shinies. We got a bunch of really cool Pokemon like our hundred percent IV Tauros. That was fantastic. We have some great things during this event, and I'm just so happy to have actually been able to play it. And as you can see, Taurus wasn't shiny, but I feel like I like it when Pokemon Go does these events. Does these events that aren't Go Fest, like aren't super big. I mean, this was a big event, but like it's super fun, it's refreshing, it's Kanto. And I don't know if they're gonna be doing like Johto or Hoenn, I have no idea. But let's just quickly check if this Taurus is any good. Not really, but I'm going to trade that with my friend. So let's see what happens. So the reason why I held that off is because we have some rewards here. But we have our guaranteed rewards. And if I click this, we get shiny ditto. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to be a good IV ditto. But I will count this toward my shiny total. So that's actually really cool. Um, let's just catch it right now. I love it shiny. It's a nice blue. Like, I really like that. I love blue. Blue's my favorite color on par with red, I guess, because I'm wearing red. But I think this is, this isn't my first shiny ditto, but I mean my first ditto. Whoa, did you see that? The, the writing on ditto was like a little bit darker. That was pretty cool. Um, IVs. You know what? It's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm actually happy with that. But then we have to complete this. Let's get some Stardust and XP. Um, I'm supposing this is Mew. Um, did I wait? Did I candy Mew? Candy we get? Uh, really? Wait. I thought you get Mew. Oh wait, what? I didn't even catch this Pokemon. What? I didn't catch this Pokemon here. What was this? Oh, it was. It was a Ditto. <laughs> okay. So. I'm confused. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know when you get me. Maybe you get it at like sometime different. Uh, Professor Willow, shut up. You're so annoying. Um, oh. Is this, is this when you get Mew? Huh. Earn the Platinum Kanto Medal. What's, what's that? What's the Platinum Kanto Medal? Um, is it like here or something? Is it here? No, I don't know what the Platinum Kanto Medal is. Send 151 gifts to friends. All right, that's, that's all right. And make 151 great throws. All right, so I'm assuming this is when you get shiny Mew at the end. So that's really cool. So, we are, so we're going to have like 36 shinies by the end of this event in total relating to the Kanto event. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. 
but let's go over the shinies I got. So I'm pretty sure the last clip was this golden execute. I mean, well, shiny execute. I like to call it golden. I might just leave this lobby just so I don't stick around for too long. Um, so this was really cool. But even after I got the shiny execute, I went on the walk. I got another shiny execute and I went on another walk and then I got a shiny 98%. You see, just, just look at the IVs here. Like, if you look here, that's actually pretty good IVs for a shiny. If you look here, that's absolutely trash for the coughing. We go here, still relatively good IVs, and then 98%, which was really cool. I'm so happy with that. That's amazing. I mean, like, a shiny 98%, I had, like, my best shiny before was, like, a shiny Weaver, that was 96%, so that was really cool. And then we move on here, we have, oh, this was when mum and I started to go for a drive, or when she drove me around. She loved it, she thought it was really fun to, have, like, play Pokemon Go hunting. So, this was the shiny Bulbasaur that I got, or well, my first shiny Bulbasaur of this, which I found a lot of Bulbasaurs, I didn't get a shiny, and now I got a shiny Bulbasaur, which I already have a shiny Bulbasaur before, so this will be my second one. Um, we finally got shiny Eevee, I already have a shiny Umbreon, but I always want more shiny Eevee because they can evolve more. I love shiny Eevee, it's one of my favorite shinies. We got another shiny Bulbasaur, which I can actually now complete the family. I can complete the Bulbasaur shiny family, which is really cool, I'm definitely going to be doing that. We got Shiny Charmander, which Community Day happened, so obviously it's not too exciting, but it's still a Shiny Charmander nonetheless, that's really cool. We got, finally, in my Pokemon Go career, this is one of the Shinies I've most wanted, Shiny Venonat. This is a great Shiny, I love the blue eyes, it's kind of, I think it's one of the most underrated Shinies. It's so cool, I'm sorry about my voice, it's a little bit raspy, because you'll see in one of my last Shinies why I screamed. Um, so that was really cool. We got a shiny Bellsprout, finally! I've been encountering Bellsprout the entire day before, and we finally got a shiny Bellsprout. We didn't just get one, though. We actually- oh. <laughs> well, you remember when I got my shiny Lapras before? Well, I got a second shiny Lapras, which shiny Lapras, I'm pretty sure, is one of the rarest shinies in the game. Just by a standalone Pokemon like this, this was amazing to find. I love shiny Lapras, I thought it was really great. It's another girl, so that's fantastic. This was the other shiny bell sprout I got. So we, we're not even done yet. We still have much more, a lot of shinies to go through. So I got two shiny bell sprout, two shiny Lapras, which was fantastic because um, like two shiny Lapras is better than one shiny Lapras because shiny Lapras is really rare. And then we have shiny pincer, another shiny pincer. Of course, I got one before. I'm really happy with this. Like I'm always happy to get like, if it's shinies like these, like pincer, Lapras, Eevee, uh, Dratini and stuff, I'm always happy to get more than one shiny of those because they are rare Pokemon. And then we got another shiny Eevee, which means we got two shiny Eevee during this event while we were on a drive. We got a shiny Lickitung, which this was a Pokemon that I was always encountering and it's so beautiful. I mean, I love this gold. I don't know if you can see that. Let's just, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you can already see it on the screen there, but like it looks really cool. I love this shiny. But then I'm pretty sure the next Pokemon was my ultimate goal for this event. My one goal was Shiny Aerodactyl. And then we got it. We, this was the funnest, th no, this was the most insane Shiny reaction I've ever had. So we were, we were crunching out of time because we had to go home to see our grandmother. And we, my mum was just like, I mean, we hunted for two hours and we couldn't find a Shiny Aerodactyl. I, I, I would like, I encountered like over 20 Aerodactyl during that drive. And it was just like, it was so insane. I'm getting flashbacks of literally last night when I was so excited. So mum was just like, you know, I'll drive around this specific area. Because we found a lot before we found some shinies. I'll drive around this area one more time. Let's see what we find. Let's hope we get something good. Literally, shiny Aerodactyl pops up. I scream. I swear and scream. I hurt my voice last night. It's still a little bit like I'm not talking as loud. But shiny Aerodactyl is actually my number one shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Not my favorite shiny, the shiny Pokemon I wanted the most. It was so amazing. I love shiny Aerodactyl. You know, I mean, it doesn't even look that much different than the original, but that was really cool. I, this was this is my pride and joy for the Kanto Tour event. This is the shiny that I would have taken over anything else, and I'm so happy I have it. And then we have shiny Ditto, which we, of course we got from the reward, which was really cool. So that actually completes my shiny collection. So overall, where did the Kanto Tour start? It started here with the Magikarp. We got, you know, Magikarp, Gyarados, Sandshrew, which was one of my goals. We got Vulpix, which was one of my goals. Another Vulpix, which was also, I guess, another one of my goals. Vulpix, Sandshrew, Pinsir, and Aerodactyl 
were my girls. And if you don't know why I named my original Lapras Ness, it's because my best friend is called Vanessa and she likes to be called Ness. And since Lapras is an Loch Ness monster, there you go. So that's really cool. So that Lapras is actually really special to me because it was just so out of the blue. It was such a surprise. So this event, I got some great shinies. I got 35 shinies. I went from like 297. Well, I went from under 297 like all the way up to over 300 shinies this is this event was amazing a little bit frustrating at the start but we got some great pokemon with some great iv pokemon we also got our 100 percent tauros so i'm really happy with this event so i don't know if they're going to be doing like johto or hoenn but i'm happy if it's just kanto because kanto is obviously special uh someone invites me to mewtwo right but i'm not doing that so this event was very special to me because it just brought out the most. It, it's the hardest I've worked. I'm so tired from yesterday. I walked 12 hours straight. Like, I I didn't even eat too much. So, I did a lot yesterday. And it was definitely worth it. I mean, I got all my goals for the event. Aerodactyl, Pinsir, Vulpix, and Sandshrew. Even though I got, like, one Vulpix and one Aerodactyl. I don't care. I mean, one Sandshrew and one Aerodactyl. I'm lost for words. So, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This was my first Pokemon Go video on the channel. I'm super happy with this. It's going to be a pain to edit because there's so much stuff to do. But, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys had a great Kanto tour. And I will see you guys next time.